I'm off the Warramai Nation, we're the Dates family of Newcastle, born and bred here. We go back to the early 1800s and we were taught by my dad how to work this creek, what to get out of it, how to fish, make crab pots, make nets, and we still do it to this day. I think it was 1957, my dad begged the government for his citizen rights and he ended up getting that and I think it was about 19... 59. They left Karua because he begged the government, he got his rights to live the life of a white man and he brought us all down here to Carrington and uh, he worked for the Hunter Water Board for over 30 years. The stories can never be lost, you can never, they're always got to be handed down. Well I was about 12 when my dad took me down near the Carrington Bridge and he said to me, Debbie, what's that big bird up there in the sky? And I said, it's a pelican. He said, no, it ain't, Debbie. He's a spirit bird. He's a black fella. And I sort of laughed, you know, thinking. And he said, what colour is he? I said, he's black and white. And he said, yeah, well, look at him. He's gliding like a spirit. But when he lands, he's going to walk out that water and walk to me and you like a white man. And he did. Because I'm a pelican. We're going to work as, as one. A white man and black man, man as one. So we'll, what we do today, we'll do it all together. You know, reconciliation, you know, it, well, I grew up with a lot of racism. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't allowed in a, a shop, so I wasn't allowed to go to school much because I had very dark skin. So, yeah, it's very, very important. That's why I'm a strong believer in reconciliation. As it goes back to the Pelican, as one, or all as one. I'm very proud and honoured, you know, to be able to call myself um, Aboriginal, you know, one of the longest standing cultures in the world. We have a rich history. To be able to share it and, you know, be a part of National Reconciliation Week, you know, spreading awareness and, you know, celebrating the culture that actually comes with being Indigenous is, um, yeah, very proud and honoured to be able to do that and be a part of it. What we do at the personal level adds up. In Reconciliation Australia, in, in some of their documentation, they talk about it being a long and winding corrugated road. It, and we all have a part to play in help smoothing that out and to help pave the way for reconciliation. What we can do at Hunter Water, we're not a huge organisation, but we are influential. What I hope is that by us doing the right thing it encourages other organisations to do the same and it's not about rushing through the process, it's about getting it right and making an impact. This is really a, a core objective in terms of the diversity and inclusion strategy and one of the main things that we've initiated is the Reconciliation Action Plan, the RAP. It means a great deal to me to be part of the RAP working group. I sort of feel that it gives me a voice uh, to be able to raise ideas and be able to, um, you know, not only raise ideas and see perspective of what other people think, but to also see what others have to bring to the table. It's great to be part of a community where I feel that we're all here to make a positive difference, and that's really the key to creating a great group. I'm proud to be part of it. So I'm fairly new to Hunter Water and when I joined I just leapt at the opportunity to join the RAP Working Group because it's something that's really important to me. As members of the RAP Working Group we are putting our hand up to deliver different parts of that Reconciliation Action Plan. I've got a particular interest in language so I've put my hand up to be involved in some of the language projects that we're working on. For example, uh, translating some place names into local language and also finding names in local language to, uh, to use within the, the organisation. In this together is really around recognising that everybody does have a role to play in reconciliation. For me personally it's worth 
me, I think about the fact reconciliation isn't an easy process and at times it makes me feel uncomfortable thinking about the role I can play in reconciliation and understanding the history of modern Australia um, and what that has meant for many Aboriginal people. So that, that's not an easy conversation but it's a necessary one and I think for me in this together is recognising that we all do have a role to play and it's important that we do come to this with an open heart and a willingness to have the conversation to ensure we have better understanding of each other.